that I had an amazing night of sleep, not because I'm in a nice suite in my favorite city in the world, Las Vegas, but because I was one sleep away from the best fight card ever, UFC 300, and my brother and I will be going and we vlogging the entire thing. So a week and a half ago, we had no plans to come out here for UFC 300, but I was at the gym and I got a notification from one of those ticketing apps saying, hey, you wanna go to UFC 300? And I thought to myself, this is the best fight card ever. It is stacked from top to bottom. I'd be at the arena the whole day, so it's gonna be super worth it. We actually showed up yesterday for the weigh-ins and we saw Charles Oliveira weigh in, who never loses any weigh-ins, and Alex Pereira with his nice indigenous people kind of makeup on. It was super cool to be there, but everyone knows that the fight night is the best night. Before heading to the arena and talking about our fights, we're gonna go work out first, because my day starts when I work out, and even in Vegas, I have like a pre-workout meal. I've got this Chex Mix here. If anyone knows my channel pretty well, I like pretzels as my pre-workout carb. And then I'm gonna have this C4 Starburst. I'll have a bit of workout and I'll have energy going into the fight. I'm not gonna be like these bodybuilders. I know there's gonna be some people watching this video who are just here to watch the vlog, but I am a fitness YouTuber and all these people talk about how healthy protein bars are. And they're gonna tell you a Starburst flavored drink is healthy. It's like, no, it's not. I'll have it once or twice if I'm like, you know, traveling and I want something quick, but I'm not gonna act like this is healthy. You never should. After we're done with the workouts, we'll go into all the fun stuff, our bets for the fight, our favorite fighters, our fight picks. So yeah, let's go. So I'm currently staying at the Venetian Hotel in Las Vegas. Previously, I'd stayed at the Aria, which had a good gym, but I was shocked to see the Venetian had a far better gym. The Aria was like an apartment gym while the Venetian was like a rec center. It even had a free weight squat rack and not just a Smith machine. So shout out to the Venetian because they love athletic bodybuilding just like me. We hit chest first in this workout. I typically like hitting shoulders first because it's a more aesthetic muscle, but for this block of training, it was chest. Then we hit the shoulders. If you're looking for this workout and want to build your own version of the Leon Edwards aesthetic physique, be sure to check out my 90 day aesthetic body blueprint which i'll leave in the description all right so we just finished the workout so obviously the energy's high the vibes are good the main reason we're going to this fight is because of charles Oliveira. in october of last year we went to abu dhabi planning on seeing Oliveira versus makachev their second fight but Oliveira ended up getting injured which was a huge bummer but now we obviously get to see him which is super hype i made an mma video in the past where i went over why i like charles Oliveira a lot charles Oliveira and leon Edwards showed me that you can lose all the time but you can still succeed and shows that you can lose a lot in life, you can lose a lot in fights, but you can still become the best at what you do. So um, my channel is obviously known for the Leon Edwards meme and how much I love Leon Edwards, but before the meme took off, my favorite fighter was actually Charles Oliveira. So if you ask me right now, who's your favorite fighter other than Leon Edwards? It's Charles Oliveira. And fun fact, I was on Charles Oliveira's Instagram. Charles Oliveira transformed his UFC career. So I have a link with my two favorite fighters, Leon Edwards I met in person, and Oliveira on his Instagram, which is pretty cool. So I'm wearing my brother's Alex Pereira shirt. Well, my brother and I are also big Pereira fans, like Oliveira, but I wanna call out the UFC MMA community because my brother and I were going for Oliveira and Pereira when everyone was booing them. When Oliveira fought Gaethje and Poirier, people were booing them, but we were going for Oliveira. And when Pereira fought Adesanya, everyone was booing Pereira. And now they're all of a sudden big fans, which just proves that the MMA community is full of NPCs. So I'm sure when I blow up, I'm gonna thank you guys because you never booed me. You were always on my side. But regarding our picks, my brother and I went into our picks on the our Rio Twins MMA channel. For the main event, I think Alex Pereira is gonna win. Co-main, Zhang Wei Li, I think will win. The featured fight are with Gaethje Holloway. I think that Gaethje will win. Then obviously, for our main event, we're going for Oliveira over Armin Sarukian, and then no one cares about the bow nickel fight. So my fit for this fight will be the, the champion has a name shirt, obviously Charles Oliveira's shirt. You actually have to live in Brazil to get this shirt. I remember when Charles Oliveira shouted this shirt out on his Instagram, I wanted to buy it, but I was like, fuck, you have to live in Brazil to buy this shirt. But luckily, my brother used to train this girl who goes to the university that we live close to, and she actually lives in Brazil. So she goes to Brazil during break and then comes back for school. So my brother was able to get her her to buy me this shirt and bring it from Brazil. So I'm super happy because I wanted this shirt in particular and obviously it looks pretty badass and then you got the Charles Oliveira on the back as well. So my picks are the same as my brother Mario's picks. Try not to be biased because obviously I literally have a Charles Oliveira shirt and an Alex Pereira shirt, but I'm really excited for the Charles Oliveira fight. I feel like if you're a hardcore UFC fan and you love high level fights, that one has to be your main event. All right, so we're in Vegas and in Texas where we're from, sports betting isn't legal. And so we're gonna be betting here as it's the only time we can bet. I'm not advertising for betting. My role with betting is don't bet anything you're not comfortable spending. Our bet which are gonna be right here. We're picking Xiaonan Yan over Zhang Wei Li. 
50 bucks. If it wins, possible payout is 245. We don't think Xiao Nan Yan is gonna win, but she's actually pretty solid. And is the, you're a big. Oh yeah, yeah and my brother too. jokes with me that I'm a big Xiao Nan Yan fan because in her last fight, she knocked out a girl, which if you guys don't watch women's MMA is shocking. So I thought- I was hey, like, come on, man. I know, but <laughs> women's MMA, there's not many, many knockouts. That's a fact, okay? Hey, come on. I'm not saying women aren't good this at guy's, math. This guy's I'm not saying women aren't good this at guy's math sexist. or anything. I'm not thinking, saying she's gonna win, but the odds are just terrible. And I would say if you've never watched Xiao Nan Yan fight, She's like the Francis Ngannou of the women's strawweight division. The odds are bad. We're gonna put money on that. And the next one, which is the big one, Charles Oliveira, 150 bucks. If we win, 427.50 as the payout. So we're obviously going for Oliveira. And if he loses, my mental health will be terrible and down the drain for the next two months. So might as well put some finances on the line and take a financial hit if my mental health goes down as well. I honestly think that Oliver is gonna win. The odds, he's an underdog. I only bet on underdogs. So it makes sense to bet on that one. And we're gonna take Oliver home. He's gonna win us money. And again, if he loses, my mental health is just gonna absolutely plummet. I'm gonna cry in the middle yeah, of the- Yeah, I'm gonna, Now, time for lunch because you gotta eat, right? At Hell's Kitchen, they had an awesome pre-fixed meal option, which was a three-course meal. We started with the scallops, which only came with three, but were very tasty and held us down for the main course being the beef wellington, which is one of Gordon Ramsay's famous dishes. We added a lobster tail with it, because why not, right? It's a special day. And the dessert, which was a toffee pudding. This is one of the best desserts I have ever had, and it put me in an awesome mood right before we headed to the T-Mobile Arena. I know hate to women's MMA, but it was time for a snack break so that we took our chance. Our seats this time, if you haven't watched watch my Leon Edwards one we had four seats for that one and we were like this the entire time and now we're higher not as close but the seats are better and uh, the atmosphere so far has been pretty crazy and we got these nice little wristbands so apparently during pay-per-view time or main card time there's something special with these so that'll be pretty fun